Welcome back. I hope you have a sweet tooth because we are doing it up today for <laughs> So Hedonism showcases elevated desserts from their sweet chocolate bonbons to their savory bone marrow desserts. Ooh, very interesting. Okay, today we're joined by owner and pastry chef Jess Wang. Hello. Hi, so nice to be here. Thank you for having me. We love a sweet yeah. treat. Yeah. I know, I think that you're welcome <laughs> wherever you go. Yeah. You come with chocolate. Uh, and you actually, you know, you trained with award-winning pastry chefs in, in Paris. Yes. In New York. So tell us all about that. That's very cool. Uh, yes. Uh, it, it's not as glamorous, uh, glamorous as it sounds. Um, <laughs> no. Um, it was a really incredible experience. I moved to Paris uh, back in 2015. I was previously an English teacher and then oh. I decided to completely change my careers. I wanted to do pastry for the longest time and then shortly after I moved to, a few years after I moved to New York and then um, COVID happened and I sure. am here and I started my own business. I love that exactly. way to, you know, make lemonade out of lemons or make bonbons out of a weird time in the world. <laughs> yes. All right, today exactly. we're learning how to make some of your famous bonbon chocolate. So talk to us about what the process is like to make a box of these. Oh boy, it's a labor of love. Um, <laughs> but we're going to simplify it a little bit today. Normally it's a four-day process. Ooh. Minimum. Okay. Uh, I'm wow. making, how about four minutes? Uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll <laughs> make it you happen. Yeah. So today I'm going to be showing you a few things. Um, you are going to be doing some some painting Great. here with some cocoa butter. This is already tempered, um, and you guys are going to use these little paint brushes. And while you guys are painting, I'm going to be making some salted caramel. How Great. Does that sound? Let's sounds get started. Great. Great. Wonderful. So as I, uh, so these are like polycarbonate molds, uh, heat resistant, really, really hard. Um, you have to polish them with. Um, alcohol to make sure that's super shiny otherwise it won't unmold after oh. four days and this has to be at a very specific temperature as well um, long story short it has to hold at 30 two degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, have fun. And cool. Start so we pay you the mold. Exactly. Oh, and okay. if I tempered it correctly, it should start to mattify in a little bit. Okay. Beautiful. If so I, just any little design yeah, we want? Uh, do whatever you want. Okay. Ooh, okay. And hopefully. I feel like I'm already better at this than I was at the <laughs> uh, Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I generally use an airbrush machine, Ooh. like a, I airbrush it so it looks really, really uh, beautiful that way, but mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to bring that. It's we, really noisy. You know, our track yeah. record with the airbrushing <laughs> is 50-50. <laughs> so it could have gone That's well. That's definitely true. Mm. So currently I'm going to be making a dry caramel, um, mm -hmm. basically putting some sugar into the pot. Uh -huh. um, and this is a really simple recipe two parts sugar, one part cream. Okay. Easy. That's what makes, that's how you make There's caramel. There's no exactly. way that tastes wow. bad. No, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All, all delicious things. Uh, and funny enough, I do not have a sweet tooth. And what? No. Yeah, no, I, I hate desserts. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> no, I, I, I love what I make. I love of what course, I, of course. like the things I uh, create. I don't have a sweet tooth. So let me just make sure because uh -huh. this is. Oh yeah, we're getting a little smoke. Yep. No, it's yeah, okay. That's it's okay. okay. We're not trying to cause any fires uh, here. That's oh, good. Bro. You know, I have to say it's so funny because my my husband is not a vegetable mm -hmm. guy, but he makes the best broccoli ever. Oh. So I, it's just kind of like I think that's something about being one step removed from it that yeah. you're like, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you, um, I add sugar little by little mm -hmm. so that it melts. Um, if you put all the sugar on at once, it's going to clump. It's going to get brown on the bottom mm -hmm. and it's not going to melt on the top. So that's why I'm doing this right now. How, cool. does, this, how does this look? You see how, how it starts doing? to mattify? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's how you know that it's uh, properly tempered. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I feel like my designs might not be added permanently to the design co collection. I mean, but I, I'm having a everything good time. Is, everything is beautiful, you know? We don't, <laughs> I love that. I exactly. love that. Exactly. So this is interesting. You only offer these four times a year. So how can people keep tabs on getting some hands, their hands on them? Well, I do post primarily on my social media, um, specifically Instagram. I am very interactive and transparent on my social media. Mm -hmm. well, I show really the process, the good and the bad of everything. So mm -hmm. I'll show me going to the purveyor and picking up my chocolate or picking up 
a case of asparagus or something like that, yeah, whatever I yeah. decide to put into my plated desserts, my in my pop-ups, or even in my uh, bonbons. Yeah. Oh. So I'm glad you brought that up because I want to talk about your savory dessert tasting mm. menu. Yes. I haven't had that many savory desserts, yeah. so tell us what people can kind of expect with that. So I, I do them sporadically. I try to be incredibly thoughtful with my a theme. There's always a theme, and I use things like bone marrow, porcini just last Ooh. year I did a tomato I, I did a full-blown sugar um, blown sugar bulb in the shape of a tomato mm -hmm. um, I use beetroot I use savory ingredients and I incorporate them into a dessert well Beautiful. we've talked a lot I want to taste some of these chocolates because we have less than a minute left no problem so, what Let's can we get taste? in here so um, if you first off if you unmold um, paint it properly shell mm -hmm. it properly mm -hmm. put it um, the filling properly mm -hmm. It should come Whoa! out. It's not fully out, but uh, I like this like ombre design there too. That's so cool. This is what happens when you use an airbrush. That's okay. We don't have to get them all out. We yep, just need exactly. to. Exactly. So we can just. <laughs> awesome. Um, oh, these are beautiful. That. Oh my gosh. Right. Ready? Or just. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. And it's really thin shells. Oh my gosh. I, I love, love it. Exactly. This is beautiful. I like mm. how the flavor kind of evolves on your palate too. That is so good. I, I like Thank to you think so much. I like to think uh, what I create is really balanced because I don't have a sweet tooth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I brought here, these oh, boxes. We're actually oh. wrapping oh, up no right worries. now. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been amazing. We're gonna eat more tomorrow. Chocolate. <laughs>